Welcome back to Battlefield, gamers. What is up? The Red Dragon here, and we are going to be talking about Battlefield 4. So I hope to give you some tips in this video that's going to, one, give you a really good reminder if it's been a while since you played Battlefield, and two, bring you into the fold if you've never played Battlefield. So I'm going to give you some tips that you can do before you even start playing the game that's going to give you an upper hand once you actually start getting out there and firing those weapons. So starting off, we want to begin by taking a look at the menu system. And I know that sounds horrible because you just want to get in there and play the game. I know, I've been there. But trust me, once you get into the game, you're, you have all these people who are asking, what button do I press to do this? Why do I press to do this? And I've already seen it so much. So just take five minutes, even probably less than that. Go over your controls. If you're on the PC, be sure that you set the keys that you want. And if you're on the controllers, if you're on the consoles, be sure you take a look at the controls because they are different. And uh, like for instance, on the Xbox, spotting is now the RB button on top. And I've already been into several firefights where I'll end up pressing the uh, back button trying to spot somebody and I'll bring up the battle log on my screen and that, that is so frustrating. Uh, I wish they would let you uh, kind of key in like the PC which keys you want to do what, but we don't have that option. Uh, there are a few different options that you can go through there. Also flying the vehicles is a lot different so pay attention to that. Also in the menus, if you're colorblind or maybe you want to uh, see different colors on the field to see if you could see that better, there is a colorblind option that you can turn on as well. So after you get your options set up, now you are very close to getting ready to play. But with Battlefield 4, there's so much more information on the battlefield now that you can use to your advantage to give you an upper hand on the battlefield. So I'm going to walk you through it, but the very first thing that you should always do is make sure you are in a squad. So you you can have squads now of up to five people. You can see that it automatically put me into a squad with another person, but I'm you're probably just going to leave the squad. And what I usually do is I go and find a squad that's almost full, and I'll go and join that. Because what that is going to do is one, it's going to give me a lot more spawn options. Before I could spawn, you know, on any of the bases that we own, but now I can also spawn in on any of my teammates. So that gives me more spawn choices, which is good. The other thing that it does though is in game you get squad perks as long as your team is staying alive and doing well. So you have more likelihood of this happening when you have more people in your squad. So now that we have a full team, now we've got our uh, guys that we are ready to spawn in on, now it's time to decide what we're going to spawn in as. Uh, so we have to evaluate the battlefield and what is going on. So pay attention to what is happening. You'll see that there's a tank right here. So if I was going to spawn in on B, I want to make sure that I had something that could handle a tank. So I'd bring my RPG with me. Uh, if I was, uh, you know, out on C and the enemy had two helicopters, then I'd go switch back to my Stinger. Now, if I'm around a lot of people, if I was over here and in this bunch, I'd probably bring Assault so I could heal up my guys or support. That would be a, a good one too because people run out of ammo. So a lot of playing Battlefield is trying to decide what it is that you need to do. Some people like to specialize in certain items. Some people like to play it all. I like to personally play it all. Uh, the other thing is when you're getting ready to spawn, if there are good vehicles out on the ground, go ahead and bring them in because that is definitely going to help out your team. You don't want to sit and leave good armor laying out on the battlefield. So make sure that if nobody's using it, just go ahead and jump into it. And you know, if you're going to be playing Battlefield, you'll want to learn how to fly and, and play with the vehicles because that is what is so entertaining and what is so much fun with Battlefield. But a lot of people ask me, you know, what's your favorite class to play as and, and which one should I choose and all that other mess, like which one should I rank up first? I say play them all because they can all be used in the right situations. It's just deciding and knowing which situations you need to bring out uh, which classes. And each class has its own particular uh, setup. So we will certainly be talking more about the classes and more tips 
coming up in the near future. So stay tuned right here to this channel. Also check out the links in the description box. And if you enjoyed this, you thought it was good information for uh, getting back into Battlefield if it's been a while since you played, or you thought it was good information for new players joining up, then I hope I earned your like. So that does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.